What's up, everybody? I'm going to talk about flat earth as a roadblock to consciousness and how it is akin to other religions, just as veganism is. Now, I want to make it clear that I certainly believe, and it seems to be, that the earth is flat. And it seems to be, and it's pretty certain, that most of the tenets and the ideas of what's within the vegan community, meaning when they're eating just the vegetation and the vegetables and the fruits and uh, living uh, foods with seeds and whole foods, and uh, most of these things are good. And, and, the, and in fact, the earth is probably flat. It, it almost certainly is. I've made videos on this. I, I get it. But I want to talk about what it has to do with our individuality, uh, sense of community, organization, consciousness, and really what it is is a, as a, a stop in, con like in thought, thought process. Because it's such a big, a big deal, because it's the biggest, uh, biggest conspiracy of them all, <laughs> and I say that, you know, truthfully and jokingly at the same time, because, yeah, they've been robbing us and lying to us, and, and the, um, them and us is, is a really, you know what I mean when I say that. There's a larger conglomerate of, uh, of people. It's a very small number that have orchestrated things. To the point that it's such a big deal now to people within the flat earth community that that's all they talk about. It's the same circle jerk as the community of vegans. And this is why if you, it's, if you look through my channel, the, the number of things, the, how, what I'm talking about is on so many different levels, so many different things. Because it's, it doesn't, it all focuses off of self and, and your experience and me saying, as I always do, well, how does it feel? How are you doing? What is it doing for you? And, and this even gets even farther into spirituality and physicality, the, the meta world and the, and the physical matter world, and saying, what is more important? It really is. Because if we're sitting here, like, it's important that we understand the world is flat for the purpose of understanding that everyone's been, you know, full of shit. And by everyone, I just mean like the, the PTB, the powers that be, the information sources that have been delivering information and then uh, retra you know, pulling energy and money out of us. But that same way that they've been taxing us financially, now they're taxing the consciousness because people are focused on the problem. Let me explain it one more way and make it really easy. If I find out, if I find out that I got a girlfriend and she's cheating on me, if I, if I find that out and I know like she's lying and she's a liar and she's a cheater, and I, what I do is I break up with her. <laughs> See, if if a girl finds in the same opposite direction, if a girl finds a, it, if you find that some someone's cheating on you, you break up with them. But you're you're psychotic if you go and find out with who and where and when and how, and you go through this. Like, who cares? You you figured out they're lying. Now move on. We figured out the earth, they're lying about the round earth, let's move on. We figured, we figured out what we need to know, the earth is flat. We figured out exactly what it is. You had a lying ass spouse, you had a lying ass significant other. You move on. And then you find something new to study. You, you find something new to, to uh, uh, instill energy into your system. But what happens, and what is happening, and what I'm noticing happening, and again, I, I want to I point this out before I go, go down that path. Um, I'm very thankful for all the people that have channels that are devoted to revealing the truth of flat earth because they're very important. They're, they're gatekeepers. They're, in a, in a sense, they're holding space for people to come to and, and realize and, and learn uh, what it is about the flat earth because I don't have time for that. But for everyone else, what it's become is it's become a black hole of let's just talk about this and, and, and kick, a, kick a dead horse. Oh, well, it's not, it's not completely flat. Okay, wait, there's more realms to it. Oh, wait, there, is it square? Is it circular? Wait, hold on, is there multi? Who cares? 
and I'm, I'm saying this from the level of the physical and the spiritual level, because right now everyone should ask themselves, if you die, if you knew you were going to die in five hours, the shape of the earth doesn't fucking matter. It really doesn't, does it? Does it? No, it matters that people were lying and you want to pass that on to your kids and pay attention and, and do. But what would you do in these next five hours? What would you do? You wouldn't spend it researching flat earth. You wouldn't spend it figuring out. You would spend it trying to be, I don't know, happy, to express something, to be, uh, I don't know. But different people would do different things. I know that. But it would all be to serve the greater good of their own happiness and their own happiness would uh, implore other people to be happy. <clears throat> There'd be no reason to go rob a bank. What a waste. You know, <laughs> go rob a bank to try to get a million. No, nobody would do that if you had five hours to live. Nobody would just go start like beating people up mindlessly. That's ridiculous. Like all of these silly, like no, people would just do what makes them happy. Now, because we don't know our time of death and we, because we're not familiar with the spirit, like, and, and I say this from a different level of like accepting my immortality. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I, I have no say in the matter of what happens in the circus stage. Uh, if I inhabit another body, because I know I do, and if you do too, and you certainly do, this conscious thing goes on forever. But certainly, like, w once we got the note about the earth being flat, then from there, what's our next step? I find out how badly the lie has been? No, you remove yourself from the situation and stop letting that succubus your energy. Now, all of this comes off of, um, I was invited to do a show and, uh, and they were kind of a community of flat earthers. And I, the, the, the topic of conversation kept getting back to trying to figure out the exact shape of the, the earth and facts and figures and and i was like well, why are we talking about this like i couldn't understand it like okay we are we're already all in the same boat we already get we already got the package of information we're already on this flat earth okay what what more is there to do now if, if that's what people are about so be it i i'm i'm not one of them i'm not i'm not about that you know my life is as far as my hands can reach my life is as far as my voice reaches my my uh, impact and, and help on society and what I can plant, what I can grow and what I can make. Yeah, it's, cer it's certainly important that we know where we live and what's around us. And, and I'm happy that people are doing that. But uh, this roadblock of, of consciousness is that people get into this, oh, it's the biggest lie ever. And now and they're so focused on it, they, they've, lost, they've lost track of themselves. They're, they're, if they had a purpose or if they want a purpose, maybe their purpose is to explore flat earth, maybe. And I'm not taking that away if it is. But I think for a lot of people, they get so caught up in it. They get so, um, th their mind becomes fascinated. And, and uh, it's, it's like the, if you, if you burn the roof of your mouth or if you have a little uh, a chip in your tooth, you keep playing with it, it's, it's that. You keep, you keep focusing on the thing. Like, okay, who, at this point, okay, everybody, put it, put your badge on. We get it now. Now do some. What else is there? And so that's what I, I, I was, I tried. This is why I attempt to explore and explain all of these things from so many different dimensions of what it means to get out of body, what it means to have another life, what it means to. Uh, you eat differently, what it means to fast, what it means to consider things from different angles. What, what are all of these different uh, versions and angles of looking at the world mean? Because if we keep looking at the, in the world, uh, the, the plane, whatever you want to call it, from, from everything, it's just, it's flat. Let's just continue on and, uh, you know, continue speaking about flat. Okay, how flat is it going to get? Is it going to, is it going to be, it doesn't matter. No, does any, do any of you live in Antarctica? That's, that's the question. Do you live in Antarctica? Do you want to? Then, and, I, and I'm happy if you do. If you can go explore that and come back with some information, I'm happy to hear about it. If you can get to the North Pole and, and you know, tell me about uh, the magnetic North Pole because it does seem to be that. You know, all of the compasses point that way because there's something magnetic there. Maybe it's a giant piece of magnetite. Or who knows? Uh, but all in all, like, 
most of us are living near the ocean, living us living a life near you know the city, living a life uh, participating on land, um, driving around in cars, uh, you know having having immediacy around us. This is this is what's important, you know, in this living body that you're that you're functioning within it's important that you look from your eyeballs and sense with your hands as soon as you take a telescope or a microscope and look through that if your ability to see correctly is already fundamentally skewed because you have cream cheese in your eyeballs or you literally have a uh, you know a mental disorder meaning you you you, can't, you don't have the capacity to think about things in a a very healthy way. It, and this is the thing is we have, you know, as Krishnamurti said, it's no measure of health to be, you know, um, no measure of health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. And we have a bunch of people that are diseased and sick trying to, you know, mount the back of the bull to, to, to mount flat earth and tell us the truth. Now, while I, while I, pat them on the back and say, yeah, I'm all about like not being lied to either. I, I have no um, interest in following Quasimodo down the path of nowhere. All of a sudden, you know, I'm five years older and, and all I've explored is whether or not I can rely on some more uh, data points of people that have given me uh, P media and tell me that well there might be a edge to the earth okay what if what if you could somehow know there was an edge to earth what if you could somehow know that it's infinite plane with other um, ponds as it were that, that's great but what is it what does it do for you what does it do what, what is that going to accomplish yeah, yes there is a time and place that that will offer us something and will accomplish something but where you live right now I, I, if you're sitting there eating um, you, you know, McDonald's, you know, I always use this reference and you're sitting there, you know, huffing in the fumes of gas and you're not doing anything to you know, get out of body, to cleanse your mind, to cleanse your environment. You're sitting there like smoking uh, Marlboros all day. Like what, how, how possibly could I, I've used this example with the uh, people that are doctors or surgeons or um, optometrists that are going blind or the the balding guy that's telling me about how to grow hair like I don't how, why you know I don't it, it's not even it's not even that you don't practice what you preach because that's fine because there's a lot of things that I do are, are that aren't that don't line up it's just the fact like well is it that important to you what's that important to you you're in, you're involved in a line of work that says I, I want uh <laughs> You know, people that sell eyeglasses, the optometrists, and they have, do they have perfect vision? I don't, I don't, how can you trust the person? Why would you, why would you want me to involve somebody that doesn't even, even if it's about trusting them, um, that has no passion about what they're doing? Like, there's so many of these things, and, and it's like, hey, if you're passionate about the flat earth because that's what it is, like, so be it. But it, it seems, and it feels like such a roadblock, a roadblock and a, a, um, a succubus of energy tor towards people's consciousnesses. And this is why out of my 350 videos, four videos have been on flat earth. And even when I'm talking about flat earth, I'm not even talking about it. <laughs> it like even right now, I, I don't, I, I've, I've uh, completely explained that this isn't about, who cares what it looks like? What is in your immediate environment? This is what I'm talking about. What, what, is, what is your consciousness provide you? Is, is it helping your children? Is it helping your community? Is it helping yourself? Be selfish. Help yourself. Is it making your life better? And if it is, that's great. But, you know, sitting here um, trying to quantify and, and, you know, get all of these pieces of information together to figure out the exact shape. Yeah, write a book on it and be like the hero of like, oh, this guy, even if you could prove to yourself that the earth is a Rubik's Cube, no one else could prove to themselves that the earth is a Rubik's Cube. Figure that one out. And this is what I was trying to say to someone. If I can get out of body and I, and I exist in another body, I've had, I, have an, I have a body that when I 
when I fall asleep here, I wake up there. And when I fall, when I fall asleep there, I wake up here. Now, if I could do that and I could bring information back and forth, I still can't convince anybody that other realm is real. Even though this is physically obvious and, and physically uh, from all, the, all of the levels as real, if not more than this, it, doesn't, it, it, it can't, can't communicate to someone. So even if someone has all the information on, on, and they've seen all of the, the shape of the earth, I, gotta, I have to take their word for it. So what, what use is it for anybody to go out there and continue to figure out what shape the earth is? Like we've, already, we've already got the note that the earth is not round. NASA's been bullshitting using CGI and giving you a, a fake facsimile of the world, uh, taxing people and lying. Uh, we've got that. And that's all we need. Now let's move on from that. What else? How's, how's your garden? How about those tomatoes? What do you know about salt? Are you still eating salt? Do you know you can drink your piss? Hey, do you know about the language? And if you were to uh, hum these noises, you could change the structure of the uh, organs in your body. Om Namah Shivaya. <laughs> I mean, do you know that you're harmonizing with different frequencies that can alter your internal environment as well as your mind? Well. Yeah, the, the, those things are important living on a, whatever plane of existence you live on. And those things, if people aren't willing to jump into the, you know, they, they know your diet is your deity. And if your deity is um, consuming, you know, through your ears, just flat earth, consuming through your eyes, just flat earth, you're going to have a pretty, pretty flat perspective on everything. You're, you know, I, it's people like it's it's like this people that will only go to certain environments you know people that love to go to that same restaurant or people that can't go to the dive bar or people that won't go to that pool over there because uh the people that go there are poor and they might rob you you know go to this neighborhood like all of that is part of the the how how big is your environment how big is the space you're willing to hold how big is your aura how big is your field and so all this is to say, um, yeah, the earth is, is almost certainly flat. And, and if there are edges out there and we need to use tools to figure it out, we better know that the, our first, our primary, our, our proteas, our protein, our self, our source is cleansed enough to even make it valuable if we see it. Even if we could see the shape of the earth completely. Even if we could know for certain. Beyond knowing for yourself, it doesn't matter. And if, and if you're already using faulty tools, what does it matter? How was your experience? How's it doing for you? And as I always leave everybody with, how does it feel? How's your experience? How's everything going? Because I certainly hope it's good. I, I certainly hope you have a good time. If you got three hours to live, yeah. Go, go tell someone you love them. Go tell someone fuck off. You know, sometimes that's a good thing. Maybe somebody needs to hear that. Go pet a dog. Go adopt a puppy. I don't know. Go do a couple somersaults. Go take a, sh go take a shit in the middle of the street. I don't know what you need to do to make yourself happy. And, and, and if you need to go find out before you're, you know, in the last five hours, whether or not the earth is flat or round or the, where's the edges are, like, I don't know that you're going to be able to do that. But if that's what's going to make you happy to try to figure that out, have at it. But your senses, I think, will tell you all you need to know. What makes you feel good right now? High-fiving somebody? Eating a pork chop? I don't know. Maybe some strawberries. Strawberries are good. I like strawberries. Hey, maybe you want to meditate. Maybe you just want to sit there. Because you know what? Sometimes for me, if I had five hours to live, somebody asked me, I don't have, a, I don't have an answer for you. I would answer it as soon as someone asked. I got two hours to live? Oh, well, right now. Uh, well, I just had... A couple tacos because it's Tuesday. Had a Tecate, tacos, and tequila. I got my teas based. I got, I got that all based out, and I'm good. But in, in, uh, in 10 minutes, like, no, I, you know, I'm good. I, I think I'd like to meditate. I might just stare at this wall for a little while and, and let my mind wander. That might be good for me. Oh, I might, I might sit here and do a couple, a couple push-ups. I don't know. I might go stare into the refrigerator. <laughs> See, that, that's the thing is... Uh, this choose your own adventure thing and, and understanding like 
your conscious capacity of uh, understanding and delivering yourself the experience you want is the only thing that matters. Or, or it matters to you that you want to help people out. What, it doesn't matter, you know, service to self, service to others. Have fun figuring out what it is before I babble on too long here. Have a beautiful evening, day, whatever, y'all. Talk soon.